Hey guys, Be Hiking here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a threaded adapter ring to your camcorder so you can use uh, items like filters and wide angle lenses on some of the lower end cameras that don't come with the threaded uh, ring in the front. And so, what I used, and actually, this is a great example for me because I'm uh, starting to do 3D videos, so I'm ganging to uh, Canon. HFR series uh, cameras together. Uh, they're a great quality of video, however, they don't come with a threaded ring in the front, so I'm able to add on the filters for UV or taking wide angles. And so, items that you're going to need you're going to need your camera, of course, uh, the threaded ring, and this is kind of this is a they're called a step up. This is going from 30.5 to 37 millimeter and how you determine that factor is the 30.5 is whatever will fit inside of your lip here. 35 from 30 30.5 30 for me it fits directly inside so that none of this view viewing area here is covered up and then the 37 for me comes right to this outside lip so it looks nice and clean. Um, you can get a bigger step up to hold a different size wide angle if you want, but you got to remember that the bigger you get, the more weight and the more potential you have it of breaking off sometime in the future. Um, you'll want to find that distance by using something like a micrometer, or if you don't have a micrometer, but maybe you have a really nice um, ruler that might have centimeters on it, then you could use that and use it in a converter. Uh, so you can calculate what this is in millimeters because most of all your camera gear will come in a millimeter uh, metric format. So some of the items that you're going to need again is your step up ring. I purchased this on eBay. You can get them really cheap. Uh, this one's made by Bauer but you can there's a lot of other ones that you can get them three dollars four dollars with shipping included. I think this one was six dollars uh, just because it was the only one that I found to match my other camera that I bought before. And the other things you're going to need is a 30 minute epoxy. And I use Great Plains because um, this is the same stuff that I use on RC planes. And it works great. doesn't leave um, uh, any uh, whiting of the residue. Other things that you'll need uh, are some q-tips in case you get any overage of the epoxy you can easily wipe it up I use actually toothpick in order to spread the epoxy around uh, on the step up ring and you'll also want of course um, a mixing uh, plane in order to mix your two uh, 30 minute epoxy compounds and I also keep a little bit of water on hand as well because it kind of helps remove that epoxy with your q-tip Okay, to get started here, um, there is no really prepping or sanding in this area. I used uh, on my last one I did, I didn't sand anything down and it's been holding up really well um, with my uh, widescreen. And you can see I also added a hood onto that. And the hood is really good to keep the sun out of the, uh, from giving a lens glare on the front of your camera when you're shooting directly into the sun. So, uh, I'll just uh, squirt out equal amounts of epoxy onto my mixing plane here. And what I do is I... What you want to do is put it around the outside portion of the ring because as soon as you attach it, you want to be able to position it before it actually runs itself uh, with gravity down and starts to adhere to your camera. This way it gives you a little bit of play time. So you'd want to put it at the top here of the ring and that way you can put it towards your camera before it actually starts touching your camera before you move it while you're moving it around. So I'll mix my two epoxies together here. The hardener with the epoxy.
and you want it heavy enough so whenever you tilt it down it's going to work its way down to your camera but you don't want it so much so that uh, it actually runs down into the lens of the camera because that would be bad. And don't rush because you have a good 30 minutes before you're really getting into an area of time crunch. And go around it. Even while I'm turning this ring, I can see that it's going to go off. You know, the liquid is going to slowly droop down in some areas that it's been hanging out down a little bit. So I'm going to get it a little bit thicker in some areas. Okay. A little bit more here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is it's pretty much already no dust, free of debris, and then I'm just going to set it right down to the top of here. And again, it's going to give me just a moment to get it in place before it actually starts running down to create that seal. And on this particular camera, the Canon, it gives you a nice little square actually to line it all up. It makes it really easy lining this thing up, uh, getting it straight. All right, that's pretty much it. All I got to do is um, leave it to dry. Uh, you could use tape to hold it down, uh, but it's not really necessary if you're just letting it sit on there. That epoxy is going to come all the way down uh, and and start touching and adhere to your camera all the way around that edge, and uh, and that's all you really need. And that's it. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>